In this video, we're going to cover just about everything you need to know regarding crane inspection and maintenance, including pre-check inspection, the setup checklist, frequent inspection guidelines, the load rating chart, and much more. So listen up and pay attention. These inspection and maintenance steps are essential to identifying signs of damage or corrosion in the early stages. Proactive care of the equipment minimizes the possibility of an accident, which helps to avoid injury and expensive material damage on the job site. Not only are the potential risk identified through inspection, but it's also an opportunity for safety improvements that need to be addressed. Preventive maintenance is a key factor for safety and each maintenance schedule needs to be custom tailored based on the type of equipment, use, storage, and more. Basic routine maintenance can be as simple as lubricating and adjusting to ensure the equipment is meeting the manufacturer's requirements. These steps improve overall functioning of the moving parts so everything is running smoothly. At the same time, compliance inspections are needed to ensure regulatory requirements are met. As the equipment owner or operator, it's important to understand these compliance details. Regular internal inspections should be performed so the equipment is always current with these standards. Pre-check for crane inspection. Specific processes for crane inspection vary depending on the type of crane. Before the equipment is tested and inspected, it's important to look at the paperwork, records, check the inspection and maintenance records to ensure that everything is up to date for the crane that will be used. This logbook should be kept current at all times and include maintenance, repairs, and other details specific to the equipment. A review of the logbook should communicate an accurate condition of the crane. Maintenance requirements. In addition to current records, it's also important to look at maintenance recommendations and requirements to ensure the schedule is followed. Operator qualifications. Not only does the equipment need to be in good condition, but the operator must be trained on all aspects of crane use, including the functional limitations of the equipment. Use of equipment. How will the crane be used on the job site? Evaluating equipment use is helpful to make sure the right crane is being used for the work that needs to be completed. The pre-check begins before looking at the equipment. The inspector will request the above information and have conversations with the ground crew, supervisors, and operators about load weight, rigging, load charts, capacities, and other determinations that affect the safety of the crane. Additionally, the crane operator will likely be asked to operate certain functions of the crane. For example, the boom load line needs to be raised and lowered, and the running line or rope should be inspected from the cab position. Brake action needs to be observed to ensure the ability of the crane to stop. Now before we continue, be sure to crush the like button and subscribe to ENC to receive more heavy equipment guides. We do appreciate your support. Crane Setup Checklist The initial review of the crane should focus on multiple factors that will affect the performance and safety of the crane function. Are there any potential obstructions to operate? Look for things such as proximity of power lines, electrical hazards, and other environmental factors that could hinder the movement of the crane. Stability of the crane Based on ground quality and leveling for optimal rotation and operation, this stability is based on the angle of the boom, the load weight, and the radius to the load gravity. Structural integrity should always be evaluated, including the attachments, wire ropes, mainframe, crawler, boom sections, and track and outrigger supports. The condition of the crane loading needs to be considered to avoid load moment that could overturn the crane. Outriggers should be extended to match the recommendations provided by the manufacturer. Frequent inspection guidelines, daily and weekly. Even if the crane isn't operated regularly, routine testing and inspection are important to ensure the equipment is ready to be used when needed. 
Depending on the use of the equipment, it's smart to complete an inspection daily or weekly. The frequency of those inspections is based on level of service, activity, and the environment where the equipment is operated. The best way to identify wear and tear in the early stages and thus minimize the risk of injury or damage is to maintain a consistent schedule for inspections. Cranes can cause serious injury and even death when something goes wrong. Overlooking those inspection schedules could result in liability if something happens on the worksite. Often a daily inspection is completed by an operator at the start of each shift. The operator walks around the crane to look for visual signs of problems or defects. Inspect the crane motion, controls and functions, safety and emergency switches, as well as any other push buttons that might be sticky or not operating smoothly. Wheel tread wear, proper inflation, as well as signs of brakes, tears or cuts. Fluid levels and possible leaks, including hydraulic and air. Wire ropes and attachments. Filters. Guarding for moving parts. All components used for swinging, lifting, or lowering. Swivel rotation. Signage, such as high voltage warnings. Boom and jib inspection to look for straightness, as well as signs of physical damage. Warning signs would include bending, kinks, crack paint, or corrosion under the attachments. Moving part lubrication, including oil, fuel, hydraulic oil, and coolant. A test lift to check the accuracy of the weighted capacity indicator, or the RCI, and or the load moment indicator, the LMI. All structural components, including electrical wires, locking devices, shafts, pins, fasteners, gears, and more. Check all brakes, including both the bridge and trolley motor brakes. All operating mechanisms, including brakes, drums, limit switches, hydraulic cylinders, lights, sheaves, hooks, instruments, and hook roller brackets. Every crane should be equipped with a fully charged fire extinguisher. The engine needs to be running to check warning lights and gauges and to ensure all controls are working properly. Look for loose items on the crane that could potentially fall when the crane's in operation. The operator view through the window, check for cracks or broken glass. And any other recommended inspection details included in the instructions from the manufacturer. Not only does the inspection need to be completed, but a written summary should always be kept on file. Major inspections for cranes. Major inspection is also required at certain intervals with the goal of identifying any parts that are in need of repair or replacement. These inspections should occur every one to 12 months depending on the equipment and the manufacturer's recommendations. Major inspections should include all items listed above for daily, but a few more things also need to be inspected. Keep in mind that this list is not inclusive since inspection points vary for each type of equipment. Visual inspection for structural damage, including all structural attachments, outrigger assemblies, and the main frame. Look for signs of cracks in the welded connections. Inspection of worn or cracked drums and sheaves. Proper electrical connections for all power plants. Signs of chain stretch or wear on the drive sprockets. Security of the counterweight. Inspection of all parts, regardless of size, Hook roller brackets, welds, locking devices, bearings, pins, shafts, gears, removable outrigger attachment, and lugs. Check the main cords and lacings for signs of paint cracking or flaking. Check the hydraulic booms for side sway, bending, or droop. Correct response of brakes, steering, and locking devices. Inspection of all hydraulic and pneumatic fittings, hoses and tubing, including possible leaks in the flexible hoses, deformations, blistering, abrasive wear, or leaking at connection points. Test proper calibration on all indicators, including load and boom angle indicators. Professional inspection of the load stress bearing structure should be completed at least annually with provided reports for the crane file. In the inspection, if it's discovered that a crane is in need of maintenance or repair, it's important to understand the risk to safety and health if the crane is kept in service. 
The use of the equipment should be put on hold until the proper cleaning or maintenance is completed. Proper record keeping for maintenance and inspection. Whenever the crane is inspected or maintenance repair work is completed on the crane, thorough records need to be kept. Documenting these significant events makes it easy to see the maintenance history. Additionally, this information might be important to show a proactive maintenance approach, ensuring safety in case liability is ever in question. When documenting the safety and maintenance of the crane, include applicable information such as maintenance or inspection date, name of the mechanic, the part replaced or parts, work completed, including checks, replacements, inspections, etc., signs of damage or irregularities, signature of the work completed. Inspection reports should also be detailed and include the following information. Components and parts inspected, the method of inspection, signs of damage including corrosion, wear, or cracking, criteria used for the inspection, details to document the findings such as measurements or photographs, recommendations for necessary maintenance or repair work. Understanding the crane's load rating chart. One essential aspect of crane safety is ensuring that the load ratings are known and respected. A durable rating chart should be attached to the crane in a location where the operator can view the information while sitting at the controls. This rating chart provides restrictions and guidelines about the capacity of the equipment. Charts should include all loading ratings as well as operating radii. Other information might include a list of no load work areas, weights of auxiliary equipment, work area chart listing capacities over front, over rear, over side, as well as a description of hoist line reaving requirements. Designing a custom crane inspection and maintenance schedule. Every crane should have a custom inspection and maintenance plan based on the use of the machine and the manufacturer's recommendations. Not only does this plan improve safety for employees and other people on site, but it's important to ensure you're in compliance with the requirements established by OSHA. We'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, Lampson International, home of the Lampson Transi Lift and a worldwide leader in the heavy lift and transport industry for over 70 years. Stay tuned for more heavy equipment guides. Also, you can view our complete list of guides at encmag.com. That's E-A-N-D-C-M-A-G dot com.